Well, hello guys, welcome to the Gordon Woodchuck Man, and we won't get everything in between, and today we're talking about My Hero Academia, episode 18, and the, uh, carnage that ensues after Stain. So let's get this episode started, shall we? Alright, you guys, so this episode's actually going to not just take a part of... The review for the episode itself, but also will take a piece of the theory, uh, which I was going to do as a dedicated point to explain Stain in this episode as well. So, I'm not going to have it in that, I'm going to be putting it right here, and then I'm going to direct it right to this video so we can have a good understanding and both will be separate. So, in this episode, we get the aftermath of Stain. What has happened since Stain has, uh, kind of, uh, that Stain has been defeated, been captured? What really is going on here? Well, we find Midori, uh, Ida, and, uh, Todoroki in the hospital, obviously, and they get in trouble for fighting Stain in the first place, but were pardoned and given, uh, it to, uh, Endeavor, as in saying that Endeavor was the one to take him out. And this is a big point because of what, uh, Toroki's flames did. They singed him, they saw, hey, hey this is a perfect, uh, point to say Endeavor took down the, uh, hero killer and you kids will be alright. But unfortunately, we also get to see that Grand Trismo gets his teaching license away and we finally get introduced to all for one. All for one being the uh, uh, quirk that is the simultaneous uh, uh, is kind of the pair to one for all. All for one takes uh, takes while one uh, one for all uh, gives. So we can see uh, this happen just in this anime alone and how it affects All Might in general and Grand Turismo. We find out that uh, one. All for One was the one that actually killed his uh, predecessor and also uh, did all, did the damage to uh, All Might himself. So this was a lot of information that was given into it. And this is the reason why I have to put this part of the uh, theory that I was going to be putting into my theory video here. Um, the effect of Stain. What is this effect and how does it uh, affect others in the world? Well, as we can see, Stain's uh, moral obligations and thought process when it really comes down to it, his ideology, in other words, uh, becomes a type of staple in the hero world. What a hero should be, how a hero should act, how this should affect a hero's base when it comes down to it. A hero shouldn't be somebody trying to make money. A hero should be somebody out there fighting for, to save lives. And he brings us out to a big point of ideology in the first place. And his ideology is not flawed when it really comes down to it. A hero shouldn't be hired. A hero should just come to the rescue. And that's what we know as heroes uh, today in our ideology as a hero itself. We don't see a hero as somebody that gets paid for their action. We see a hero as somebody that works hard to get those actions done. So I'd say our work would be more of an ideology of uh, Stain's ideology when it comes down to it, but less of a villainous type of uh, feeling when it comes down to it because he only wanted um, All Might to take him down. Now, we can see his effects because of his charisma, uh, charismatic abilities and stuff like that and the aurora he gave off in the first place through his ideology. This ideology that he had uh, uh, spewed off and uh, shown dedication to effect has a uh, giant effect throughout the world. It's not just one uh, little domino that uh, has fallen. It's a domino that has fallen on so now the domino and caused a big domino effect when it comes down to it. It's hits, 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 and you can see it especially during the uh, virtual media aspect itself where this uh, uh, stuff is actually being reported on and we see people that are coming out of the woodworks uh, seeing the, uh, this happen see the news of stain and how this works these people are people that encourage the ideology of stain himself and uh, expect a he uh, only a he worthy hero to take them down a hero that is actually a hero and not somebody being paid to be a hero or worrying about their rank in the system and we can see this giant 
uh, things start to happen with the villain alliance as we start to see villains uh, as we see these villains start popping up and we know these are villains not heroes just because of uh, how they are shown and what uh, through a villain's type of uh, speech that these people that are going to be showing up will be villains and they will take on the ideology of Stain and Stain's ideology is now directly connected to the villain alliance so, where do these villains end up going? Well, these villains will start to end up going to the Villain Alliance and trying to become a part of that group because Stan was there. They believe in Stan. They believe in Stan's ideology and they want to uh, get that situated. They want to be a part of the side that is fighting for that ideology. And uh, it's also explained through a, multi a multitude of ways in this episode as well as All Might and Grant Chimers will also talk about this where the influence can go from one ant to many ants until the whole world is engulfed in this ideology and this ideology is about the same as the ideology as All Might himself and when I say the same as the ideology as All Might it's not the same uh, thought process of his ideology it's the same uh, Aurora as his ideology it's an ideology as uh, the protector of uh, peace and justice is obviously significantly different than uh, Stain's ideology, but the Aurora themselves, the uh, uh, aspect, the charisma that's given off for this, has uh, given the world its shape today. Stain, even though he was a minor point in uh, the whole world itself, becomes a giant influence. He becomes the one person that people are starting to look at, look towards, and seeing that a hero should be something more than what they are uh, showing right here, right now, and it's just one big happy situation yeah so we get we finally get a good battle uh scene where we get to see exactly how this world is going to be split up now um whether it's going to take old elements take the new uh hero peace elements or take the villainous uh how a hero should be elements um well, I guess that's three parts, but that's not the point there. But we get to see this all come, in, come together in this one single episode. And it was a pretty amazing episode at that, especially since uh, we get to see some of anime original scenes in a lot of this uh, these situations, especially the next episode, which is an anime original episode that's coming out, which is kind of a filler when it comes down to it. But we get to see exactly how the students have uh, taken up the... Uh, teaching altar in general, they go and uh, get to be uh, tutelaged by these teachers and we get to see what they've done, what ha what effects they have made and what is that really going on. So it's kind of like this fun little a uh, OVA, OAV uh, vi uh, situation. So it's going to be pretty interesting, you guys, not going to lie, I, I can't wait to see this. It's going to be very, very interesting. And by the way, guys, uh, within the... I know I've said this for the last week, but I do not have the uh, cooperation, well, not the cooperation, but I do not have the friend I was going to be doing the video with uh, for the theory, so what's going on is I'm going to use their uh, script uh, that they had given, uh, let me, uh, that they, uh, yeah, let me use to explain staying a little bit more in depth in this video, and I'll explain, tell you guys who this person is and uh, what had happened in general for us not to be able to get together on this uh, video type of situation. It's not that we uh, that we had differences of opinion. It's more of a our busy peers are way different. We could just couldn't get together, <laughs> literally. But we'll get that uh, situation as time goes on, and I will have that released by this Wednesday. I will have it done, or I will have it done today, and have it. Uh, scheduled to re be released this Wednesday. So no matter what, you guys will be getting that theory out here real soon. And yes, I'm cutting this a bit long, but then I, then again, I just decided to put the Stain thing all out there for his ideology and exactly what Stain is. Next uh, theory, it's just going to uh, have a background of Stain and move right into the theory itself. So until the next time, you guys, I hope you guys have a great day and a fun one as well.